Hello and welcome to Battle of the Ports. Last week we took a look at the origins of Bomberman, which I believe quite a few found interesting, but there were also a large number of people asking about the Amiga version. Well, that's where today's show comes in as we take a look at the Bomberman game that really kicked off the series. This is Hudson Soft's December 7th 1990 release, Bomberman for the PC Engine. Bomberman on the PC Engine is the fourth installment in the Bomberman series and the first installment for the PC Engine. The game's objective is to rescue Lisa, the daughter of Dr. Mitsumori, who has been kidnapped by the evil Black Bomberman. You do this by controlling the protagonist, White Bomberman, of the PC Engine. The game was directed by Shigeki Fujiwara, with the game design by Kazuhara Kuwahara, who would later work on Bomberman 93. The music was composed by Jun Chikuma, who also worked on the Famicom version. The game is known for being the first in the series to allow multiplayer battles with up to 5 players. It introduced a character design that some call the Spaceman and a new world compared to the previous three games. Basically this game is what determined the look of Bomberman to this very day. It also made a significant contribution to the series development by proposing the battle game concept and it was the first Bomberman title that Fujiwara, who later became the series producer, was involved with. Bomberman is primarily a multiplayer game, but it does have an addictive single player game mode. The game system itself is nearly identical to the Famicom Bomberman, but the stage progression has been changed into rounds, with the boss appearing at the final stage of each round. Additionally, while the Famicom version only had horizontal scrolling stages, this game includes stages that fit within one screen, and vertically scrolling stages as well. When all enemies on stage are defeated, soft blocks containing hidden items will light up. In total, there are 8 rounds to get through, which is no easy task. first port is for the Amiga, and what a fantastic port it is! Could this be because Hudson Soft made the port themselves? Hard to say since the names of the programmers are European. What is clear is that this Amiga version is very close to the PC Engine release. Even the audio tries to mimic the PC Engine, but just in a lower fidelity. However, as good as the Amiga version is, there is a flaw that is not present in the PC Engine version of the game. It does not support the joystick's second button. When you pick the programmed bomb token and you wish to blow up the bombs, you have to press the space key. So better make sure you're sitting next to the Amiga. Oh, and are you wondering why it was renamed to Dino Blaster? Yep, you guessed it. Bomberman was too close to portraying terrorism. OST is next, and what is that turd music? That's not the Bomberman theme. You know what? While the Amiga version was like a console game, nice and smooth, this Atari ST version is like a computer game. By that, I mean it runs at a lower frame rate, has a stats bar to the side, and just has an air of being unfinished about it. Still saying that, it's not a bad game, but not on the same level as the PC Engine or Amiga versions.
MS-DOS also got a port of Bomberman and found itself somewhere in between the Amiga and ST version. By this I mean it looks more like the Amiga and moves more like the Amiga, but also feels a little janky like the ST. The audio is quite interesting. We have some recognisable Bomberman jingles in there, but also there's some original stuff which while not as bad as the ST version, it's still not a patch on the original. Final version and my favourite version of Bomberman is for the Sharp X68000. This one was ported by Systemsoft and what a fantastic job they have done. It looks just as nice as the PC Engine version but now running at a higher resolution. But the biggest difference is the beefed up music. Yeah, I really do dig the sound of the X68000 release. Just like the PC Engine and other versions, this is also 4 player compatible with a mixture of 2 controllers and keyboard controls. Let's take a look at all those versions of Bomberman running side by side. 